Welcome, welcome. I'm thrilled that you could join me for this week's Angel Messages. Actually, it's this month because we are moving into October. We also have a new moon in Libra and it's an eclipse new moon. So it's a solar eclipse new moon annular. So that means that there's going to be a beautiful fiery energy around that lunar vibration of the solar eclipse. So it's all kind of mixed into one, isn't it? Anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. My name's Elizabeth Harper from sealwithlove.com and intuitivesoulcircle.com. If you haven't already got my Healing with the Angels free course, do you get it? There's a link in the description. Three things your angels want you to know, plus a wonderful meditation that will really help you to deepen that connection with your angels and support you on your healing journey. So you can also go to my website, sealwithlove.com and you'll find a link there to get that course. If you're on Instagram, then just go to my bio. Okay, so today we're gonna work with crystals. I found myself walking around my room again, as I do sometimes, finding something that draws my attention. So I found that there were two creative things that drew my attention and two crystals. They're all crystal energy. So when I tune in to the Libra new moon and the solar eclipse and this beautiful lunar energy that is with this solar eclipse, it feels like, well, it's the end of a cycle because it's, it's the last eclipse in Libra, we shift seasons and it's just this sense of, it's almost like the end of relationship energy, certain energy within us, not necessarily external to us, although Libra rules the seventh house, right? Relationships and that seventh house is external, it's not necessarily the relationship with ourselves, but it feels like it is. It feels like there is this sense of, okay, let's look at the shadow self. Let's look at what we still need to clear. Let's look at our connection to others and what do we need to, what do we need to complete? So it could be relationship completion. It could be that it's a pattern that it's time for us to complete. It might be that we've been avoiding something and now we need to look at it so that we can complete that. What is it for you? For me, certainly I can see this energy of relationship and it's our relationship to the world. It's our relationship to ourselves. It's our relationship to everything and everyone around us, including the planets, including the universe, including the divine. All right. So as usual, I have something that is for all of us. And then there are three things that you can choose. So invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three. If it feels right for you, place your hands over your heart like angel wings and just talk to them. Talk to your angels. Hmm. You know, sometimes when you talk to your angels, especially when you're asking them for a number, it may be that you receive all of the numbers or you don't receive anything so then listen listen to all of the messages because there may be a little piece of everything in there for you all right so our first message is for everybody i used to make these crowns so this this crown in particular has rose quartz in it and it was the rose quartz that i was guided to is actually guided to this big piece of rose quartz, but it, it wasn't, it didn't want to be this. The message wanted to be the rose quartz that is within the crown. <laughs> so I felt that, that energy was very much about, you know, we have so many friends, so many relationships, so many connections. And it seems like we're more connected to certain people than others, but we're all in this together. We're all connected. And as we connect, we can create something beautiful. As we unite, we can create something beautiful. There is also this sense, of course, of love within the rose quartz. And I feel that part of this message is that sometimes 
it looks as if you're not giving as much as you want to give or you're not receiving as much as you want to receive and it seems so small but then when you look at all the little pieces of rose quartz in here it's like there is so much you give so much you receive so much and we can discount that because we don't get it all at once it isn't some big huge energy it could be just little pieces like a compliment you receive a compliment or you give a compliment or you give a monetary tip to someone and it just makes their day. Or it may be that you give your wisdom and your intuition and your guidance to someone and it's just what they needed. And that's your love. That's you offering love. A hug is love. Giving to the universe Maybe not doing something that supports the environment, like throwing out litter. Whatever it is, I feel that the message is that there are little pieces of love all along the way for you, all along your journey. And it's recognizing that and realizing that they become this big, huge vibration network of energy that connects all of us. All of that love connects us. So little pieces, it all connects us. Oh, there is such a strong vibration of spirit. So I feel that this is also a message that your loved ones are in spirit and they are sending you love. Little pieces of love, little gifts, little nudges that you are loved. I love that. <laughs> all right. Number one. So number one is also something that is creative. Number one was this garnet. See these, I used to make these boxes. So the garnet heart really attracted my attention. It says on this box, I am love. I love myself. <laughs> I am loved. So Three things, three affirmations. I am love, I love myself, I am loved. So love is definitely a theme for this month and why wouldn't it be with that new moon in Libra? Because Libra is ruled by Venus. So Venus is the planet of love. So when I look at this, I just get this sense. It's almost like shaking off the cobwebs, cleaning off the dust, awakening again. It's time to wake up, wake up to love, wake up to yourself, wake up to all the passion that was there in your heart. And maybe it's, it's time to bring it back again. So even though we talk about completions with this eclipse, I feel that this is also about awakening because it's a new moon. New moon energy is about new beginnings. So this is red and orange, gold, lots of red around there. These are I am colors. So it's you saying here I am. So that heart is opening your heart up. And it may be that your heart has been a little bit raw. It might be that you've been hurt and you closed down. And that's the part about dusting it off, shaking off that energy and just opening yourself up and say, you know what? I'm ready for a new adventure. I'm ready for new relationships. And those relationships are not necessarily romantic relationships, they can be friendships, they can be work connections, all kinds of different relationships. Relationship with yourself, relationship with your passion. So many different ways you can look at this, but there is a sense that it's time for you to open your heart up, release the fear, stand in the I am, and maybe connect to those affirmations. I am love. I love myself, I am loved. So you could use those three affirmations to support you now as well. I love that. All right, number two. The crystal that came up for you is this piece of Herkimer diamond. And you know, whenever I look at this, there is a sense of magic within it. So I feel with this that it's saying, you know what, there's been some hard times for you. There's been some difficulties 
and there is a sense that they are part of who you are and it's an embracing that it's embracing those difficulties it's embracing the shadow self it's embracing the challenges that you've been through and knowing that they've made you stronger wiser and they've helped you to grow so there is a sense in this that there is more light than there is dark and it's embracing that as well within yourself knowing that there is more light within you than there is darkness and there's nothing wrong with the darkness but it's saying that the light is your truth the light is who you are and the darkness is there that it's just an absence of the light it's just another part of you and that part of you you can embrace that part you can love that part and of course then you bring that part into the light and into you it's not saying that light is better than the dark but the light if you imagine it if you think about when you turn a light on you can see everything when it's dark you can't see anything but it's not saying that darkness is bad it's just saying that with the light maybe we're more aware maybe we're, we're more conscious maybe we are higher vibrational how would that feel for you so when I tune in to this Herkimer diamond, part of the message is that you are so ancient. <laughs> You're such an old soul. There is a, a feeling in this of just remembering why you came, where you came from, your purpose, your mission, coming back to your spirit. It's coming back to your truth. That's what I feel with the Herkimer. It's coming back to you. I almost feel like it's a rocket. There's just this sense of as soon as you come back to yourself and you come back to your mission, it's like whoosh, there's so much energy that's there. It feels really good. I love it. <laughs> All right, number three, number three. Your crystal is tourmaline, black tourmaline. Now, it was really interesting with this because I was walking around my room and I found myself coming behind my computer like I was guided there because that's where this sits and I'd forgotten about it it protects me there's a little mirrored piece of mica little mirrored pieces of mica that are there uh, and there's a reflective energy that's there so anything that comes in is reflected out it's very strong black tourmaline is very strong at least that's the feeling when I hold it there is this feeling of strength and courage and determination. So I feel with this that it's saying it's time to get grounded. It's time to get back to basics. That sometimes we get distracted by so much going on, right? We find ourselves maybe looking at the world and thinking that we're missing out on something. So then we bring more and more and more into our lives. Whereas we don't need to do that. There is a, a sense with this stone. Although, you know, when you look in books, it's very much about protection. But I feel that the message from this is about simplifying. There's a sense that the message is simplifying your life. It's time to simplify. Declutter always a, a message isn't it to declutter but there is a feeling here of looking around at everything in your life all the schedule the events the people the relationships the things that you have and looking how each of them reflect you and maybe there are some parts of what you're seeing that no longer reflect who you are so then it's time to move on from them bless them thank them and then release them yeah there's a real strong sense of this of silence as well of coming into a place of silence maybe solitude or just spending some time alone spending some time quality time with yourself so you're not doing it's just a 
a retreat, a feeling of meditation, a feeling of it's just about you coming back to yourself. This all feels like it's about coming back to yourself and recognizing yourself, your relationship with yourself. I love this. Okay. This is our monthly angel messages. Let me know how they were for you, what came up for you. And thank you for being here. Thank you for leaving me comments. Thank you for sharing my work. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to next week seeing you again. So much love to you. Angel blessings. Bye.